Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio. We are jumping in again on the deleted streak. Last run was pretty awesome. That was essentially just the Eden one though. So it wasn't super deleted. It wasn't super crazy, but it was a very, very good run nonetheless. We got like kind of a really broken synergy going on with Proptosis and that other thing. So uh, let's have a look. Now we've got Kick. Kuradissimos. I can't remember how to pronounce this one. This character is hard. Deleted cannot pick up health. For each negative effect, gain half a soul heart. Basically, with this guy, we are in a bit of a hardcore mode. Health like this doesn't do anything for us. Like, we get that, but it doesn't actually do anything for us. So, we have to be very, very careful to not be hit. This is very much like playing the Lost. But also, on top of that... We have to take negative effects in order to actually gain any more HP. Which means we want to be bit flipping as many items as possible, really. One second. Sorry, I just have to sneeze. I uh, want to be bit flipping as many items as possible, really. Um, and uh, we want to be taking negative effects. But we've got to be careful. If we take too many negative effects or too harsh a negative effect, it could have the adverse effects. So we really want to have uh, negative effects that aren't crazy. I thought I had the better Pooters mod on. They shouldn't be hovering over rocks like they are right now. Anyway, so let's let's see with our first one. This will not help us, so let's have a look. Um, we lose a tiny bit of damage every time. Um, instead of dying... Instead of dying once, get nothing. I mean, that sounds good to me. Uh, we do lose a tiny bit of damage upon uh, navigating down each floor, which could be problematic, but hopefully we can offset that. Um, the negative effect in the half soul heart is pretty useful. The other things weren't particularly amazing. Um, the, the temporary something or other, this one, this rebar thing, I have absolutely no idea what this item does, so don't even ask. Uh, but we'll see if it ends up being any use to us. It might be, it might not. And by temporary, yeah, it does only last the room. I can never remember whether temporary means the whole floor or just the room. In this case, it's just the room. It does seem like this character has a little, little bit of the lag going on. One second, let me shut down some programs on my PC and see if it helps. Because there's a few things open that really have no need to be. Um... One second, sorry about this. I realise it looks a bit dodgy right now. Um... Right, let's try that. Sometimes shutting down programs can help out a little bit. It didn't, but there you go. <laughs> it's, these bigger rooms are always a little more laggy anyways. But yeah, we just got to be really careful about not being hit. An enemy like this is particularly quite difficult. He will drop a golden chest though, I believe. Or at least he has a chance to. Um, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, there you go. Golden chest. We don't have a key to open it right now, but if we get one, I'd be very much willing to open it. Um, in terms of question of the day to day... Um, I don't really have a great one in mind. People, uh, do leave some questions of the day if you haven't. Okay, since when did these guys spew out spiders? That is, um, that's never what these enemies did before. What the hell's going on? These used to spew out, like, a little bit of creep. Why is it now spewing out spiders? That's not how it used to work at all. Oh, God, that one slipped through the crack. This is really tough. This, this thing's throwing out... Crazy amounts of spiders. I think I've just got to get in there. No, I got hit. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. God damn, yeah. Those enemies have been probably overtaken by a Fiend Folio enemy or some sort of weird AI shenanigans there. So that is what it is, I guess. Um, boom. I love doing that. We got this heart here, which won't do anything for us. It's a Deceiver heart anyways. Um, and we get the stapler here. I think stapler we ought to just take because we are going to be losing damage. I realize we don't gain any health by taking that. Maybe I should have flipped it and then flipped it back to get a negative effect as well. But that is a little bit risky. Let's go down to the next floor. But yeah, question of the day. Question of the day. Hmm. What's a sentimental item that you think you'll always hold on to? What's something that you've uh, that you've got that you'll always hold on to? Because for me, uh, I've got a few. Uh, one of them is I have a little white teddy bear that um, my parents like gifted to me when I was well, I said gifted to me, bought for me when I was like like when I was like one or two days old, and I still got that, which is quite nice. Uh, so I'll definitely keep that for a long, long time. Um, 
And the other thing, I've got this little, um, this little like Cobra head. Uh, this is, it's like a, it, it's not like I'm guessing they're fake gems, but it's like a gem encrusted Cobra. It's pretty cool. I got it while I was in Egypt. Um, but it like kind of opens up and you can store things inside it. And I've just like got a bunch of small little things from mine and my girlfriend's relationship in there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take Explosivo as it is. Another really good item that I do not want to jeopardize. Um, but yeah, um, I've just got like a, a few like small things in there. Um, like I've got a little packet of sweets that she gave me the first time she uh, went away. I've got the first cinema ticket we ever went to go see. I've got, what else have I got in there? I've got like some random notes that we wrote each other when we were just like messing around, but I kept a few of them. I don't know, it's cute. I like it. <laughs> just nice to have like reminders of that sort of thing. We've been together like nearly nine years now, so it's not as if we need them, but it's nice to have them, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll we'll do that. And of course, it's a room where they can't do anything to help me. Thank you. Go away, beaters. It doesn't do anything for us, I don't think so. Although it did make our health into a black heart, though, which is potentially useful. I don't know how useful it's going to end up being. Whoa, that spider got close. Okay, at this point, we're just kind of pushing through, seeing what we can get done. Watch out for the spiders. Honestly, Explosivo is going to be a great pickup, I think. It's going to mean that that damage loss that we're getting each floor is not going to be as um, consequential, I don't think. I'm getting ready for this guy to do his mega jump. He's not done it yet, but I can see he's getting ready for it. Wow. See? Explosiva. It's perfect. And then Placenta here isn't something we really want, so let's go with this. On hit spawn coins. On hit spawn random chest. Um... Yes, that's pretty good. We'll definitely take that. Um, and I think we'll just get out of here. We've, there's a lot of things we've missed on this floor, but I don't think that's a big deal. We definitely don't want to go for our devil deal. I've been taking the regular path most of the time when I'm doing deleted here, just because the alt path scares me with this guy. But yeah, this dude especially. Um, kind of an interesting one here. So it's going to spread the money about. So when we get hit, we get a lot for getting hit. So if we can get anything that, that like mocks being hit, that'd be really good. Um, but even just getting hit, we're going to get chests and coins. So although we want to keep that to a bare minimum, when it does happen, it is going to be pretty rewarding. We don't want it to happen often, but god damn, these guys are tanky. There you go. And we don't have an active for you to jump on, sir. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. Okay, okay, okay. This room is a little bit tricky. I'm going to try and stick an Explosivo shot. And then just let things happen. Okay, good. I'm just trying to stay away from the explosive, um, the explosives that are near me. Okay, that was pretty good. And we got a key as well. Really good stuff. Oh, God. I was like, yay, we explosivoed him. And he started to roll towards me at great speeds. And I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> this might not be the best decision of my life. I love these little, uh, these little roly-poly boys. They're so cute. What are they called? Wood Woodlice? That's what they call in the UK. Woodlouse. Or Woodlouse. I don't know what they're called. They've got different names in America and a few other places, I think. But here they're called Woodlouse. Woodlice. Air Woodlouse. Woodlice. Little roly up fellas. It's a really good enemy to have on the uh, on the caves, actually. Okay, these are the rooms where I'm scared about getting hit. These enemies are super frustrating. I say, I think I got explosivo. Basically, the good thing is with this, we stick an explosivo and then we bail. We get we get our stick on, obviously to enemies that, that it applies to. Some of the enemies, it's not going to be as uh, as useful. But we get our stick on and then we kind of just go. We get another golden chest out of this guy. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, it is only a 50% chance, so I was just being hopeful. It's good that they fixed Explosivo as well. Before uh, before Repentance, if people didn't know this, when you had Explosivo, the, the shot 
of Explosivo, the one that hits the enemy, didn't actually deal any damage. Um, so if you got really unlucky and just got a bunch of Explosivo shots in a row, you deal effectively no damage to the enemies, um, which obviously is quite problematic. Oh, really? We got a hero font, which is useless to us. I mean, I suppose it does create some flies. Um, but yeah, which was fucking useless, because like, if you were fighting an enemy that was going to die before... Oh, boy, yeah. If you were fighting an enemy that was gonna die before you, um, before an explosivo shot could even blow up, then it kind of, oh bugger, oh bugger, this is really bad. We got hit loads there. Um, yeah, if you were gonna get hit, if you are gonna, like, kill an enemy before the explosivo shots blew up, it meant that you were killing them effectively much, much slower than you would have been otherwise. Okay, we were doing really well on consumables now. I didn't get to see what the uh, active was. We'll take these pills. Tears down is very annoying. LSD. LSD is also very annoying, but for very different reasons. Right, what do we have in here? Um, on use, replace tears with numbers run through nine tier damage scales. Yeah, we'll give it a go, why not? Black Hammer, seems interesting. I probably should have bit flipped it to see what else was available there. That's probably my mistake, but. Hey, her. Kind of need the HP, really, don't we? Not secret room. Okay. So far, though, this run's going decently. Health is, like I said, a little bit... A little bit undesirable now. Okay, this guy's got the split shot. Got a lot of spiders in there. Don't worry about that. At least we got loads of loot if I'm being hit. So now, we activate this. Ah, and we got, like, corresponding tier effects and stuff. This isn't... This isn't bad at all. Kind of weird that it's an active, I guess. Don't really get why it's an active, but hey her. Uh, little portal, you will be getting turned into whatever. Effective immediately. Um, right. On grab bag spawn nine double bombs. First hit each room, we get that. On hit, use two times the stars reversed. Ooh. Ooh. Every four rooms, 45% chance to get one pretty fly. Each key, each boss killed, spawn two parabytes. Each room's 90% chance to spawn a round worm. Let's just give that a go. It's, it sounds risky, but I'm taking it. Ooh, I kind of thought it included enemies as well. It did not. That was a complete and utter waste. This is a very tough room with that teal guy around. Luckily, he's gone now. So, I think the roundworm is the, the little popper-upper guy. I don't know what parabytes are. That, that That's the thing that scares me. Killing a boss spawns two parabytes. That might be completely fine or terrible. Also, this is terrible. Like, what the hell? What the actual hell is this room? Why would anyone make this? Also, I can't get past this mirror chest without hurting myself. Yeah, that's that's fun. Dude, why? Why on earth would who made this room? This stinks. This is just a default room apparently. Oh my god. There's more of them. Die! How is this guy not dead yet? Die! Dude, these things keep spawning. Dude, what is this? Right, we need to take some negative effects right now. Um... On nine kills, use the clicker. We can't take that, sadly. Oh. This item is completely impassable. Oh, there was a poop under it. That's why. Okay. Um, right. After three hits, spawn poofer on seven kills. Yeah, we'll take that. Um... Seventeen percent chance to spawn fifteen leeches. No, thank you. Let's 
take that as is. <laughs> this was hell. This room was absolute hell. We've managed to make out alive, somehow. Yeah, not 100% sure what's going on anymore. I really want some more tier rakes. It's very, very slow right now. I, I have to admit, most of the positive effects I picked up, I didn't really read. So, we'll see what they do. I just gotta make sure it's not stuff like the clicker. Then, then we're in the in the golden. We're doing well. Okay, these are the round worms. Basically, what happened in that last room is that room was perfectly balanced and fine, and I absolutely fucked it with that round worm thing. It was actually deleted that fucked it. I thought that was the room design at first, and I was very mad, but it actually wasn't. Hello, sir. That's a lot of spiders you got there. Okay, I've got these little Terraturma things here. Oh, bugger. Give me that. We've got a lot of very good on-hit effects. God damn, the game is running at such a low frame rate right now, and I have no idea why. I just want this room to end so I can leave. Okay, right. Didn't mean to do that. Don't know what I used there. Um, I don't want to use Joy. Sounds good. Sounds good. What on earth is going on now? On 34 kills, spawn a baby. First hit each room to spawn three poops with flies. This has got confusing. This has gotten very confusing. Right, health is looking good now. Let me out of this room. That room was not doing good things for us. Okay, we got a lot of items going on now. Gimpy, uh, Gimpy's going crazy. We got a lot of Gimpies. What enemy is left? I don't know what I killed there. LSD plus everything being tiny makes things confusing. I have to say, I'm a big fan of the zappy zaps we got going on right now though. Froggies. Give me a froggy froggies. Dude, stop moving. Thank you. I wish LSD would end. Deep Pockets doesn't do much for us. Uh, lose 15 keys, spawn a ticking spider, each boss kill lose one times bomb. Yeah, let's try that out. Uh, it says, like, what does... Oh, okay, okay. It's one of the boom spiders. That's not so bad. We just got to remember that that's something that we have on Bitflip. I really wish this LSD would end. It's very, very confusing. Also, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the just insane amount of mini Isaacs that I have, but I'm not going to complain. I don't know why that room's so laggy. It's just some shop items, but the game cannot handle it. Yeah, LSD is making this whole process so much more confusing. Oh, 
Also, it's good to know all of this was the wrong way. 17 FPS. What the hell's going on in that room? I mean, just generally, I'm at like 30 FPS on this run. I don't, I, like, something's happening. I'm guessing it's all the mini Isaacs, but I honestly couldn't tell you for sure. I'm guessing it's all the mini Isaacs in the water, like the, the, the water effects under their feet, maybe? It seems like it would be a lot for the game to uh, to keep keep going with. Uh, excuse me, can I get into this door, please? Lily pads, thank you. Took you long enough. Yeah, it's definitely the mini Isaacs. They are causing issues. Things are dying very fast, though, which is nice. Right, just check in here. We could try and re-roll this into something good. We got a machine that spawned. Peach creep, no thank you. Blood bombs, no thank you. Adrenaline. Ooh, lead pencil. Yes. He's a bleeder. Right, just keep going. Ignore everything. Just get to the boss fight. Right, come on, my mini Isaac army. Let's get this guy deaded. Yes. Good, good. We didn't get the health, but I think gulping our trinket there, pretty useful. Oh, Lord. This first room is uh, quite something. The, the, the missiles that are just hovering around there is quite funny. We've got quite a lot of piggy banks going on as well. I don't know if piggy banks stack, but I assume they do. So we're going to be getting... Already 13 cent every time we get hit, but now with piggy bank, multiple piggy banks, probably a lot, lot more. Basically, the moral of the story here is we do not want to be getting hit. <laughs> Shit will go down if we get hit. I'm absolutely loving this absolutely insane mini Isaac army. Also, did I just use class cannon there, what I saw? That's not good for us. Dr. Fetus. That seems very dangerous right now. Um, yeah, considering we don't have any bomb upgrades. Although Dr. Fetus does get, has got a mod that on that gives it a bunch more synergies, so it is tempting. But I think I'm going to leave it just in case. I think it's a bit too risky. Uh, excuse me, can I reroll, please? Athlete's foot, no thank you. 8% chance of tears to transform enemies into a yeah, that sounds decent. That's a dorm mech there. You almost you almost tricked me. Come on, my army, let's go. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Oh, this guy's invincible until we kill everything else. That's not good for us at all. What else is left? Okay, good, he's dead. Right. We can see if we can want to take these. Every nine rooms, 23% chance to spawn six red poops. Every six. Yeah, we don't want that. We'll just take the normal one. Um. On hit, get one blue spider. Each boss kill, 83% chance to spawn six times golden bombs. On penny, 6% chance to spawn the horn. No, thank you. Um, 32 kills spawn baby begotten, spawn 14 troll bombs on grab bag, 6, 7, 7, 7 chance to spawn. Yeah, let's take that, that's good. And then here, yep, that's good. Take that. Right, health is looking good now. Keep forgetting I keep spawning those guys. 
Oh. Mm. May have made a mistake here. I'm not exactly sure what... Um, not exactly sure what caused me to do that upon walking into the next room. That may have been an item that I picked up that I did not read very well. That could cause problems if that's going to happen every time. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That could cause some issues. Or it could be fantastic. We'll see. Damn it. Getting hit is so punishing for us. Why is this guy not dead yet? Oh, Lord. We need to get out of here, like, right now. I need more fire rate. How have I not got a single fire rate up yet? Hello, pennies. I don't know where you came from, but I'll take you. So far, things are going pretty well. Things are scary, but they're going pretty well. Oh my god. Piece of cheese. Delete that. Melatonin. Um I was just about to say, why is the angel door shut? I should really be reading the positive effects. I'm not reading a lot of them. I'm just reading the negative to make sure it won't kill me, and then I'm, I'm picking it up. It's probably a good reason why I'm getting uh, so completely wrecked by all these effects, but I'm a risk taker. I don't give a damn. But it seems upon entering a room, there's a good chance we take damage and spawn some devil items, which is good and bad. Right, um... Black powder is one we can leave. I want to take dark matter. I want to take pentagram. That's not great, but I'll try it. Okay, stop picking up pennies. It can spawn random enemies. I've got Judas's shadow in here. Little deliriums here too. Yeah, we don't want to be picking up um, pennies if we, if possible, really. Especially while we're at 99, there's just no point. Right, down we go. Health is looking pretty good. This is quite a scary run, really. Quite a scary run. We got Goat Head here, why not? Let's keep an eye on my health. Do I actually lose health in the next room? We done. Okay. How my fire rate still actually I have, I have got a fire rate up. Where did that come from? Fire rate still feels really slow though. Apple of Pride. Apple of Pride's pretty good. It's basically just a huge stat up. Until uh, we next get hit, which hopefully won't be for a while. Oh my god. I don't know what I've done to cause this, but it's pretty beautiful. You're gonna be all scary, but I don't really carry. You might be scary, but I don't carry. We got Taurus in here somewhere. Taurus is in the mix. We got Infestation 2 from somewhere. I literally have no idea where that came from. I'm liking the tractor beam craziness we got going on as well.
God damn, we're gonna have to listen to that noise every single room for the rest of the run. Yeah, not bad. Diplopia? I don't really see why we'd want to use that, but hey her. I'll take the look pen, why not? So many pennies dropping. And we can't really pick them up either. We got a tears down from somewhere. Fuck you, game. Um. Ow, I have absolutely no idea what caused me to get hit there. I think I've walked into the spikes. Oh, no. It's gone infinite. Careful, careful. It's going infinite. I'm going to keep getting hit if I'm not careful here. Fuck. I need to get out of this room, like, right now. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I think it's calmed. I think it's calmed. Give me that. Give me that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just noticed something here. Anything interesting? There's actual tractor beam there. I don't know what's causing the room to be so damn laggy. It's crazy. We're at 20 FPS right now. Come on, game. You can do it. Right, we got real tractor beam now. I also want whatever this thing is. And then... Right. Get the hell out of here. Scary room is scary. Tractor beam is beautiful, though. Especially with that... Uh, ooh. Brimstone? Don't mind if I do. Intriguing that I'm firing more shots every time I use Brimstone. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Kind of like it, though. Not displeased. Oh, my lord. There's some shenanigans going on right now. There is some shenanigans going on right now. Which mum is this? Oh, it's blue mum. Couldn't quite tell. Okay, give me Polaroid, I guess. And let's go. We have a lot of door stops. <laughs> We have a lot of door stops there. I wonder if they're sticking with us or not. Seems we've lost our ability to spawn items. That's just not happening anymore. We're still spawning stuff, but it's not items. I think it's B skin that's making me shoot all the shots like that. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm picking up these for stats, by the way, if you're wondering. Because I've got, um, keep a sack. This is a really, like, interesting, like, shot pattern we've got going on here. Oh, God, that guy's got herming. That's not good. We also have lost our ability to generate mini Isaacs, by the looks of things. Because I've, I've not seen any of our pals in a little while here. Is that not it? One more? Oh, nope. The electricity got him, don't worry. Ow, I do not know what hit me there and I'm scared. Absolutely no clue what hit me there. I think I walked into something, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, let's do some bit flipping, see what's going on. On Penny, get magic mush until hit after three hits. Yes, that sounds very good. Um, We got... Greed's dead for the gullet. Um, yes. Oh, what the hell hit me? 
This is some fat BS. Get me the hell out of here. Oh, I just want to fucking take... Lacrophagy. Why am I so large? I keep growing in... Oh, it's magic mush, isn't it? I can't get out this door. Why can't I get out this door? There's still an enemy in here somewhere. Let me out. <laughs> door stop. I'm supposed to have a door stop right now. Why can't I leave? Bollocks. I'm going to have to bomb the door to get out because I don't know what's... Like, the, there's those little pallet things that I'm not meant to have to kill those to get out. I did not think about the repercussions of getting temporary magic mush. Yeah. I kind of forgot that magic mush increased your size by quite a considerable amount. Oh, Lord. This was definitely a bad decision. <laughs> Oh, this was a terrible, terrible decision. Fuck me. I was like, ah, yes. M extra magic mushes. I can get so much damage from this. Little did I know. Extra magic mushes leads to so much extra pain. Okay, I got hit. I lost them all. They're gone. What the hell's left? No, there's just so many pennies. It's so hard to avoid them. I can't leave. I just keep picking up coins. Go with Troll Bomb. Fuck you. Yeah, I I'm stuck in this room. Let me leave. How do I leave? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> I have definitely screwed this run. 110%. Who'd have known Magic Mush had been, would be the enemy? What is going on with my bullets down there? That is mesmerizing, but also terrible. What is happening right now? Whatever it is, the game does not like it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely dead here. This, this 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 run, it was going so well. Hey, little angel statue, how you doing? It was going so well, and then I, uh... Whoa. What on earth happened there? Don't pick up the coins. Oh, God. The game does not like this in the slightest. I think there's some sort of infinite loop going on with ocular rifts. I'm firing them out, and every time I see one, I just lag like crazy. Like, apparently the room isn't even over. Oh my god, I can't avoid the coins, and it's lagging this much. I just keep growing in size. Like, where the hell's the fucking exit? How is this room not over yet? What's going on? Okay, it just was lagging like crazy and took forever to finish. Get me the hell out of here. Why are the, why do those ocular rifts last forever? We're at half a heart now. We are at half a heart. How did we get here? We had basically an a unlosable run. Oh good, I'm still absolutely giant. It's good to know. For fuck's sake, every time I pick up a coin, it spawns enemy and traps me in the room. Oh, and I've spawned a portal as well. This is this this run has has gone down the shitter in a major way. Yep. <laughs> that about sums it up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh that was me getting too greedy. I could have just taken no more um so no more um, deleted items and I would have been fine, but I got greedy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.